The dream of being able to print 3D human heart tissue is a big step closer with a breakthrough by Australian scientists. Experts from the Heart Research Institute say a new bioprinter can print cells which could replace tissue damaged by a heart attack. Medical reporter Sophie Scott has this exclusive story. It's been three or four years now. Years. Keith Broadfoot wow. doesn't look like your normal heart attack patient. The fit and healthy 38-year-old had a major heart attack while training for a triathlon. About 130 k's in, I started getting pain in my glands and my sides and didn't realise at the time that um, that was a sign that I was uh, potentially having a heart attack. He was lucky. He only suffered minor damage after his attack. But that's not always the case. I can think of a number, well, a large number of examples actually of patients who we've done our best to open up the vessel but unfortunately they've suffered large amount of damage. For those patients, a breakthrough in this Sydney lab may hold the key. Scientists at the Heart Research Institute are able to grow a patient's own heart cells. Ultimately what we are aiming for is treat patients that um, come in into the clinic, they provide us with their cells from the skin. Cells can be utilised to generate stem cells and therefore heart cells. What's different about this research is that the mini hearts from this 3D printer can beat and pump blood just like real heart tissue. It's still a way off from being used in patients, but doctors say it offers new hope. The ultimate outcome here would be to make the heart an efficient pump again, and by replacing the dead heart muscle with an effective contractile patch, we may solve their heart failure uh, in a way that would dramatically improve their shortness of breath and their quality of life. I'll be very fortunate that I've had the recovery I've had, but um, it could quite easily have gone the other way. Uh, and technology like this, um, that's life-changing for so many people. Doctors hope to trial the bio-heart in patients in the next few years. Sophie Scott, ABC News.